tip it's going to be Hathaway going up against Arvin for the tip non-conference action here this afternoon and I'm going to re-tip it and the tip is up and controlled Zarcy has it for the Cavaliers Panthers starting off in their 2-3 zone here against the offense of Tri-County. Durando down in the corner to Arvin. Arvin dribbles up and around. Three-pointer is on the way and good for Luck. The Cavaliers on the board starting this off. Some full court pressure here by the Cavaliers. Stricker gets it up ahead to Webb, cross court to Layer, down in the corner, three-pointer from McKaig, in and out for McKaig, the rebound to Zarcy. Zarcy pushes it up quickly to Luck. Zarcy working in the middle, kicks it back out. Cavaliers reset, Luck down to Zarcy. Baseline drive by Zarcy, good defense there by Hathaway, and the rebound to Webb. Stricker pushes ahead here for Pioneer. That one's tipped over to McKaig. Three-pointer long. Webb tracks down the rebound. Gets it in. Stricker, two on her. Gets it out to Webb. Stricker drive to the bucket. That one just missed. And the rebound fought for. It's going to be a jump ball. It will stay Pioneer ball on the jump call. 6.34 to go here in this first period. Tri-County leads 3-0. Panthers will inbound. Stricker will trigger here under their bucket for the Panthers. Back over. Stricker, three-pointer off the back iron. And going to have a foul coming on McKenna Stricker. Her first, team's first. Foul on Stricker, her first. Jim looks great here. Uh, they did uh, a lot more. Obviously, they did a lot of renovations over the summer, but they've got the banners up, new scoreboards here uh, installed over the break, uh, courtesy or uh, at least some help there by Community State Bank. So we want to thank Community State Bank for being a great sponsor of 
Panthers Athletics. They also helped with the new scoreboard out at the football field as well. And uh, a little bit of a new twist here. I don't know if there's something that we don't know, but we've seen several of these gym renovations. And there's a pass in in the bucket by Zarsi, but uh, a little bit of a shot clock look. So on the back of the scoreboard there, you can see the shot clock right now. It's just a game clock, but it's got room for the shot clock. So I'm wondering if there's something here that we don't know about just yet. I know it's been talked about for a lot of years, adding a shot clock to high school uh, basketball, but uh, it's just kind of interesting to see that added to the new scoreboards here. That one's going to be poked away. Good defense there by Arvin. Ball will remain Panthers ball here. Stricker will trigger on the near sideline. Pass over to Layer. Shot off the mark. Offensive glass by McKeg. So Panthers reset. McKeg drives baseline. Cut off there by Arvin. And McKeg gets it off of Arvin, so it'll stay Panthers ball. 5.13 to go here in this first period. 5-0, Tri-County leads the Panthers. And good defense there by Luck as she tips that one out of bounds. Stricker shot does not go, but she's going to go to the free throw line, shooting two. The foul coming here on number five, Hannah Arvin, her first, team's first, sending the junior McKenna Stricker to the free throw line to shoot two. And the first one rims out. Second one that goes, and the Panthers are on the board. 5-1. Tri-County has the lead. Zarcy looking for a cutter, not able to find one. Luck on the right left wing. Shot off the mark, tipped back out. Lois Layer tracks. Eh, no, yep. Stricker comes up with the loose ball. Good work there by Lois Lair, really uh, tracking that ball down, and good hustle effort there by the freshman. A little trying to figure out the defense here. It looks like a little zone, but I'm not sure. Lois Lair, four three, cuts that lead to one. Luck on the right wing this time. Off the mark and the rebound to Hathaway. Hathaway, oh, we got two Panthers up ahead. Pass from Lair to Casey Webb for two, and the Panthers take the lead 6-5. We've got a 30-second timeout called by Coach Tyler. I'll go ahead and note that on the – go ahead and take a – yeah, just keep it here. It's just a 30. And you hit, uh, it was actually Tri-County called the timeout there. So put one there and one there. All right. So six straight points by the Panthers after the Tri-County Cavaliers had taken a 5 nothing lead and uh, forces a timeout here by Coach Missy Tyler as Pioneer in front 6-5 to five with 3.32 to go here in this first period. Thank you. 
Cavaliers ball out of the timeout. Luck brings it across the timeline. Cavaliers setting up their offense, moving Arvin into the high post. Zarcy back up to Luck. And a three-pointer by Baylor puts the Cavaliers back out in front. Stricker brings it across, gets it through the pressure, no problem there. And a shot. She's going to be fouled going back to the free throw line. That's going to be on Sarah Zarcy, her first, team's second. Evelyn Ross, a 5'10 sophomore, has checked in for Tri-County. Stricker off on the first. Free throw is not going for Stricker here so far this morning. One for four from the line. And we've got a bucket and one. As Arvin puts it in, she's going to have an opportunity for a three-point play. That foul is on Lois Lair, her first. Hannah Ziegler checked into the game for... The Panthers, that free throw was good. For Arvin, 11-6. Six straight now after that timeout by Coach Tyler. So that ball is going to be last touched by the Cavaliers. Thought it would have been under the basket there. They're going to take it out here on the side. Stricker gets it in the layer. Trying to get it into Ziegler. Tipped out, but McCaig comes up with a loose ball. Cross to Hathaway on the baseline. Hathaway gets it over to Lois Lair. Trying to find Hannah Ziegler, but it's going to be out of bounds. And a turnover for the Panthers. 2.05 to go here in quarter number one, 11-5. Tri-County with the lead. They have the ball. Baylor over in the corner to Zarcy. Back up to Luck. And a travel call and a turnover. And we've got 25. Jocelyn Kane checking in. For the first time, and coming back in is Casey Webb as McCaig and Hathaway will get a break here for the Panthers. Nice pass over to, and a rebound put in for Kane off of the miss. Nice pass from Stricker over to Lois Lair. Snibel put that in, but a good rebound bucket there by Jocelyn Kane, the freshman. And good post position there for Baylor, and it's going to be a foul coming here on Hannah Ziegler, her first, team third. Foul oh, taken her first. Baylor good on the first. She has four. Lead is four. Got a sub getting ready to check in, apparently for Baylor as they're waiting there at the scores table. So both free throws are good. Checking back in is Durando. Going to give Baylor a break. Minute 20 to go here in the first period. 13-8, five-point advantage here for Tri-County. Trying to find the roll, and uh, Ziegler not able to get that pass. So another turnover here for the Panthers. Gives the ball back over to the Cavaliers. Oh, 
And a jump ball. Ball will go over to, nope, it'll stay Tri-County on the jump. Cavaliers will trigger here under their basket. And that's going to be last touch there. Arvin's shot off the mark. Last touched by Tri-County. So the Panthers will get the ball with 56 seconds to go here in the first period. Pioneer trailing by five. Pass up to Webb. Not able to get it to go. And a jump ball on the rebound. Good work there by Ziegler. Panthers will retain the ball. Stricker will take it out here under her basket. Stricker gets it up to Stricker over to Layer. Layer short on the shot. Tried to save it, but uh, Kane not able to keep it from going out of bounds. So the ball goes back over here to the Cavaliers. Approaching 30 seconds to go here in this first period. Three-pointer off the mark for Luck. Rebound tracked down, but thrown out of bounds. Last touched by the Cavaliers. So 20 seconds to go. We got McKaig. Coming in for Lair. Almost a turnover. Stricker able to come up with it. And a foul coming here on Tri-County on Durando. Her first, only the third team foul. So still have another foul to give here if they want. Stricker over to Ziegler for two. Give her the assist on that one. I think she might have lost the ball, but uh, we'll give her the assist. After one, it is Pioneer 10 and Tri-County 13 here from the cage. We'll take a break. Be back here in just a moment for second quarter action here on Pioneer TV. All right, welcome back here at Pioneer Junior Senior High School. After one, it is Tri-County leading 13-10. to 10. Nice bucket there by Hannah Ziegler to cut that lead down to three right there at the end of that first quarter. Good first quarter here for the Lady Panthers against a very, very tough Tri-County team. I think that uh, we'll take that any day of the week, being down only three here after one. See what they can do here as we go into quarter number two. Tri-County has the ball to start things off. Good defense there by Ziegler. Durando shot off the mark. Rebound tracked down there by Stricker. Pushes it up ahead. Lois Lair. And Lair going to get called on the charge. Boy, good defense there by Tri-County getting back on that one. And that will be Lair, uh, her second. Team's first here in the quarter. I know the Panthers fans wanted a, char or a block call, but... I don't know. That was close. That was close. So foul number two, Lair will take a break. Jocelyn King comes back into the game here for the Panthers. Durando resets it here. A little bit of a moving screen up top. No call there. Oh, a travel there as uh, Arvin got her feet tangled up and didn't get the ball down before she moved her pivot. Hathaway coming back in here. Hannah Ziegler, some good minutes there for Hannah in the uh, first quarter for the Panthers. So Webb, Stricker, McKaig, Kane, and Hathaway, the five on the floor here for your Panthers. Yeah, a little late there, but she did uh, switch pivot feet there. The travel call ball goes back over to the Cavaliers. So a pair of turnovers gives the ball back here to the Cavaliers. We've got 6.50 to go here in the first half. 
Still 13 to 10 in favor of the Cavaliers. Kick out, three pointer is on the way and good for Zarsi. She has five and that lead up to six now for the Cavaliers. Nice pass over, short on that, tipped around, and Luck comes up with the rebound for the Cavaliers. Kicks it ahead, and Zarsi puts it in for two, and a bucket will go to the line as that foul is going to be on Hathaway. That will be Kenzie's first, and an and one opportunity here for, actually that was Arvin, not Zarsi. And she has six. A little miscommunication there by the Panthers. So Webb here, let's see if the Panthers can set up a play here. Webb almost uh, took a step. Kane, and she's going to get a foul call. Coming here on the Cavaliers, let's see who they're going to call. It's going to be on Durando. That'll be her second. First on the Cavaliers here of the quarter. 19-10. 6-0 run by the Cavaliers to start this period. After the Panthers had cut that lead to three. Now the largest of the game at nine. Stricker, 15-footer off the iron, no good. Shot no good in the corner, and we got a foul coming on Tri-County. That's going to be on Zarcy. That'll be her second. So coming in is number three, Maddie Spencer, a 5'9 sophomore. For the Cavaliers. So Zarcy and Durando both with two. Little spin move and Stricker good for two. Good uh, strong move there from the junior. That one's short. Stricker gets the rebound. A little bit late there, but Kane able to uh, come up with it. And we're going to have a foul coming on Jocelyn Kane. Tried to set a screen there, maybe a little bit extra with that screen that time there by Joss. That'll be her first team's third. And Durando checking in for Zarcy here for the Cavaliers. 4.48 to go here in this first half. 19-12. Cavaliers in front by seven. Shot off the mark, rebound, and that one might have been tipped, and they're going to say last touch by the Cavaliers. I want to say hi to my daughter, uh, Maddie. I think she's watching at home with, uh, with Mikey and the kids. Hi to my grandson, Rowan, and granddaughter, Avery, if you're watching there at home. Hey, Ro. Stricker over to Webb. So it looks like uh, Tri-County in a little man action here now. And uh, Kane has her pocket picked by Luck. Shot no good. Kane, Luck, though, gets the rebound. Shot no good. Ball still loose. Hathaway comes up with it. So the Panthers are able to uh, recover, get some good defense there. Stricker kicks it over to Webb. Webb off the side of the backboard. No good. Rebound to Arvin. Arvin pushes up ahead. 15-footer is no good that time for Spencer. And we have, I believe, Tri-County on the line. So we've got Lois Layer checking back in here for Kane. And we got Hannah Ziegler checking back in here for Casey Webb. 
Three and a half minutes to go here in this first half. 19-12. Cavaliers in front. Get it over. Stricker, right wing, three. Good. Stricker, four, three. Six now for Stricker, and that cuts that lead down to four. Arvin, and she's going to get called again on the travel. She uh, just doesn't quite have that uh, footwork down right now. And uh, Coach Tyler is going to call a timeout. It's a full timeout, so we'll take a break. 3.03 to go here in the first half. It is Tri-County 19, Pioneer 15. We'll be right back. So out of the timeout here, Panthers will have the ball. Three minutes to go here in the first half. Stricker walks it across the timeline. Durando meets her at the top of the key. Uh, looks like we might be back into a little bit of a zone-ish. Stricker left wing. Three. Got it. Stricker back-to-back -back threes. And it's a one-point lead here for the Cavaliers with 2.30 to go here in this first half. Yeah, a little bit of an extra there as uh, Ziegler gets called on the reach. Here, if we want to put this above you. A little cable management issue here. Who hit that? Who shot that? Sorry, I was uh, trying to work my cable management there. I don't know who hit that. I think it was Luck. Stricker pulls up from 15 on the baseline. And Hathaway, oh, they're going to call her for a foul. It looked like maybe a jump ball. So that will be Hathaway's second. So that is the team's fifth here. So the bonus for Tri-County will put Baylor at the line, shooting two off on the first for Baylor. 44. So I was right. So Grace Luck did hit that three. Second free throw is good for Baylor. She has six. Lead back up to five now for the Cavaliers. Kane, and that one's going to be tipped away there by Arvin. Another turnover here for the Panthers. Good defense by Arvin. Three-pointer from the left wing is off the mark that time for Zarcy. And McKeg comes up with the rebound, brings it down across. Trying to get it in, Stricker. And Stricker, two more for McKenna Stricker. Cuts that lead to three. Twenty-three twenty with a minute to go. And the foul coming on Stricker. That will be her second. Not sure. Ref says that she went into her with the body, I guess. So Durando at the free throw line shooting two. And good on the first. Her first trip to the free throw line here for Tri-County. 24-20, 101 to go here. One more free throw here for the senior, Durando. Off the front iron. Somebody's got to get the rebound. And that's going to be out of bounds off of Pioneer. Nobody got that loose ball. And another opportunity here now for the Cavaliers. And it's going to cost Pioneer as the three-pointer is good by Baylor. So that uh, 
non-rebound there on that free throw. Cost the Pioneer Panthers three points as Baylor drills the baseline three. Oh, nice crossover move from Casey Webb. Can't put in the bucket, but, boy, that was a sweet little move there by the senior Webb. And an offensive rebound by Zarcy. She puts that one in for two. She's got seven. And the ball gets tied up there, and it's going to be a travel call and a turnover. So Hathaway with 17 seconds comes in for Stricker, trying to keep her from getting that third foul here with uh, Tri-County with the ball and a nine-point lead. Boy, another big run here by Tri-County. They were 24-20, uh, so a 5-0 run here by the Cavaliers. Good drive there, Hathaway, and a push foul called on Tri-County. That'll only be their third foul. And that's going to be on Baylor, her first. Just a little bit short. Change that to third, halftime. tipped out off of Pioneer, so it will be Tri-County. Inbounding there on the baseline will be Zarcy for the Cavaliers. Shot rims in and out. Good rebound there by Hathaway. Gets it across. Stricker. And that one's picked off by Zarcy. On the other way, good defense there by the Panthers. Shot was tipped. Layer, 15-footer from the baseline, no good. That's going to go out of bounds. Ooh. Looks like it was off of Tri-County. They're going to call it off of the Panthers. So the ball goes back over to Tri-County there on the out-of-bounds. Just under seven to go here in this third quarter. Shot off the mark by Arvin, but she gets her own rebound. That one's stolen by Stricker. Stricker tried to split the defenders. Looked like she had Lois Lair there on the right wing. Oh, good job there by Hathaway, and Lair is going to get called on the foul. That will be her third, team's first here of the half, and that will put oh, Lair, her third. Hannah Arvin at the free throw line shooting two. And off the back iron on the first for Arvin. It's her first miss from the free throw line. She was two for two. She has six points in the first half for Tri-County. Second one is good, and it's a 10-point lead now for the Cavaliers. Stricker over to Hathaway, 15-footer from the baseline. A little bit long there for Kinsey. Rebound by Zarcy. Zarcy is going to pull up there at the right wing. Gets it over Durando. She's going to reset the offense. Gets it down into the corner. They're looking for. And it's going to be a foul called on Stricker. That'll be number three on McKenna. Her team's second. Well, it's poked away by Hathaway. So Lair and Stricker both have three fouls here. A lot of time left here in this third period for the Panthers. 
Oh, nice up and under. Left-hand shot no good there by Arvin and the rebound to McKaig. Nice-looking move there by Arvin. Stricker thought about pulling for that three. Gets it over to McKaig. Going to reset the offense here at the top of the key. Stricker with Durando on her. Gets it up to Webb. Stricker shot off the mark. Rebound to the Cavaliers. Shot off the mark. Rebound on the weak side by McKaig. McKaig pushes it up to Lair. Lair, oh, she tried to get it over to Webb, but she should have threw a bounce pass there. Good defense there by Stricker. Arvin, though, gets the uh, rebound, kicks it out. Three-pointer luck, no good. Rebound by McKaig. McKaig doing a good job there with the rebound. And that one's going to be turned over. Cavaliers lead 30 to 20. 4.30 to go here in this third period. Oh, Layer is going to get called there. That's number four on Layer. A little bit too much there, and that's uh, a foul you don't want to get that far away from the basket there if you're Coach Barry. And we got a timeout here by Coach Barry. Only one point scored so far, and that was the Cavaliers with the free throw by Arvin. They lead 30 to 20. A couple of critical fouls, though. Stricker has three, and uh, Layer just picked up her fourth. So that brings Jocelyn Kane back into the game, the freshman for the Panthers. Looked like it might have been a little bit of a shuffle step there that time by Zarsi. No call. So this zone defense doing, uh, doing some good work here, limiting uh, Tri County. There's a pull up from 15, shot off the mark. Kane with the rebound, and it's going to go out of bounds. So, yeah, they changed it. Good call. Looked like it was off of Tri-County, and uh, the initial call was to Tri-County, and they changed it over, and it'll be Panthers ball. Get it in there to Stricker. She's going to set it up. Got Durando guarding her. And Durando going to get called there on the foul. Nice backdoor cut by Stricker. That'll be the third on Jasmine. First team foul on Tri-County here in the quarter. Evelyn Ross will come back into the game here for Tri-County. Who's she going to come in for? She's going to come in for Baylor. Stricker will trigger here under her baseline. Gets it up to Hathaway. Gets it back to Stricker. 15-foot pull-up jumper, no good. Rebound is corralled by Zarsi. Oh, nice up and under move there by Arvin, and she's going to go to the line with an and one opportunity here as she puts that one in. And that's going to be number three on Hathaway. She's going to take a break here as Ziegler. Will come into the game. Four team fouls on Pioneer. Free throw off the mark. No block out again there on that rebound attempt. And it's going to be Zarsi coming out with that ball. Three-pointer on the left wing, no good for Luck. And Ziegler can't quite corral it. Jump ball, and I think it's going to stay with Tri-County. So Zarsi will trigger it here. Go, 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 
for the Cavaliers. Nice job there. Webb gets a hand on it. Ziegler comes up with the steal. Stricker gets the bucket and one. Ross picks up her first, and Stricker will get the and one opportunity here. And she puts it in. So that cuts that lead back to nine here for the Cavaliers. So we're basically back to square one where we were at at the half with 2.30 to go here in this third period. And not good there. She picks up foul number four. And that is going to be some free throws here for Tri-County is the Cavaliers go to the line. Zarcy has two, misses on the first. Stricker's going to have to take a break here with 2.26 to go. She's got four. So we've got uh, Stricker with four. And we've got Lair with four. Keg drives to the basket, no good. Rebound, Ziegler puts it in for two. Good offensive rebound and put back there for Hannah Ziegler. And cuts that lead to seven. So the Panthers making the dent. Oh, there's a steal. Oh, come can't. in for Gracie Scheitlin, who had come into the game there. Good rebound there by Hathaway. And the steal and the put in for Zarcy. And Coach Barry is going to call a timeout here. Minute 19 to go in this third period. All right, out of the timeout here, Panthers will have the ball. A little full court pressure here from Tri County. Stricker on the bench with four fouls, and the Panthers uh, struggling to get the ball across. And they're not going to get it across their 10 second call. Turnover number six here of the quarter. Kane knocks it, knocks it away, but right into the hands of Zarcy. And we've got a three-second call on Tri-County, so that ball will go back over here to the Panthers. Nice pass there. They get it up ahead. Hathaway can't corral that one. It's going to be out of bounds. Last touched by the Panthers. So Pioneer struggling here with uh, their two main guards, Stricker and Lair, on the bench. That's going to be a turnover. And a bucket is going to be good for Ross and the foul. And she will go to the free throw line for the and one. And that foul is going to be on Kane, her second. Free throw off the back iron, no good. Another offensive rebound, though, for Arvin. And it's going to go out of bounds off of the Panthers. Yeah. 
In and out for Arvin. Good rebound there by Hathaway. Hathaway trying to find an outlet here. Gets it up to Kane. Kane poked away from behind, and it's going to stay Pioneer's ball. Be the far side there with 11 and a half seconds to go. Over the top there, trying to get it to Ziegler. She can't corral it. Turnover is kind of stacking up here. I've got eight for the Panthers. And a good play as Arvin gets to the bucket for two more. And after three, it is Tri-County 38, seven there at one point. But uh, Stricker picked up her fourth. Layer picked up her fourth. And the turnover started to mount there. Eight turnovers for Pioneer in that third quarter and only uh, five points for the Panthers and 13-point lead as we move into the fourth period here. And that one's going to be blocked there by Spencer. Good defense there. So Lair and Stricker are both in here with four fouls as we move into quarter number four. Stricker will trigger it here under the baseline. Gets it into Webb. Stricker, three-pointer, way off the mark on that one. Not sure what happened there. It was like three feet away from <laughs> the rim there. I don't know. Back the other way. McKay gets the rebound, or Stricker actually ended up with the rebound. It's going to be tipped, and good defense that time by Ross. She gets the pass on the steal. Shot off the mark, and Luck comes away with the rebound. Arvin kicks it out. Ross, shot no good. We got two. That should be a travel. We had two, tra we had two Cavaliers with hands on the ball. That should be a travel. But they're going to call a jump ball and give it to Tri-County instead. That's an odd call there. Try to throw it off of Stricker's butt, and then, uh, she ends up turning it over. And the bucket is good for Ross. A 15-point lead now for the Cavaliers. McKaig, three-pointer in and out. Rebound to Zarsi. So the Panthers kind of losing a little steam here. Foul is on Luck, her first. I'll put Stricker at the free throw line, shooting two. Ziegler is going to come in here for Webb. So no good on the first here for Stricker. One more coming for the junior. Good on the second. 15 for Stricker. Lead is 14 for the Cavaliers. Durando brings it back up top, resets the offense, gets it over to Arvin. Good defense there by the Panthers. To Arvin there in the high post. Kicks it out to Durando. Luck. Three-pointer no good. Loose ball. And Hathaway is going to come up with it. Stricker pushes it ahead. Kicks it over. McKeg just inside the three-point line. Shot no good. Last touched by the Cavaliers. It will stay Panthers ball as it goes off of Arvin. 5.30 to go there in the fourth. And get it in. And get it up to Layer. Layer back over Stricker. Three-pointer on the baseline for Stricker off the front iron. No good. 
He's just get back. There's four fouls, and you stay on the floor. Harvin brings it across. Approaching five minutes to go here in the ball game. Stricker comes up with the steal. Two on one with McKeg. Durando going to get called on the foul. That'll be her fourth. Team's second. Stricker shooting two as it was on the shot, I guess. Good on the first. 16 for Stricker. Number 20, Ella Culp. Checking in. I believe her first time. I don't have her down as being in yet. Second free throw way off the mark there. And the rebound. McKay gets it. So an offensive rebound there on that missed shot. Trying to get it into Ziegler. We're going to have a foul coming, I believe, on Arvin. Yep, that'll be her second. Team's third, so one more foul here for Tri-County. We'll put the Panthers in the bonus. Trying to get it over, get it to Ziegler. And the steal by Arvin. Shot, no good, but the rebound by Luck. And Coach Tyler calls a timeout. 4.32 to go here in the fourth quarter. It's a full timeout. We'll take a break. Be right back here in just a moment. Let's just take a – Coach Tyler not happy with uh, the way her team was playing there. Calls a timeout. It's down to two timeouts left here. So it will be Tri-County under their basket. Cavaliers get it in. Luck has it. Gets it over to Zarcy. Three-pointer short, but the offensive rebound putback is good for Arvin. That was one of those that just missed everything. Layer trying to go to cross court, and that one's going to get stolen by the Cavaliers. And that's going to go out of bounds off of Tri-County. Pioneer with the ball as we have 3.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. Player on the baseline, kicks it back up. Panthers need to get something going here. They're a little stagnant on the offense. Stricker over to Lair, down in the corner to McKeg. And that one is going to be tipped by Zarcy and stolen. Layer comes up with it, and they're going to call her with a travel. So the ball will go back over to the Cavaliers. Ooh, big pivot there. I guess they uh, kept the pivot foot. Jocelyn Kane getting ready to check back in here for the Panthers. Nice move, and the left hand is good for Arvin. Two more for Hannah Arvin. Arvin has 14. And the block that time, Arvin on Stricker. And she's running the break. 
Nice little move there for Zarsi. Not able to put it in. Stricker comes up with the loose ball. Stricker up ahead to Layer. And the bucket is good for Lois Layer. First points for Lois since the first quarter. She's got five. Cuts that lead to 15. Luck. Looking for a teammate, gets it up to Zarsi. Three-pointer is good for Culp. Her first points of the game. Makes it an 18-point lead for the Cavaliers. Going to be out of bounds, last touched by the Cavaliers. Got Jocelyn Kane checking in for Layer. Minute 30 to go here in the ballgame. Okay, looking for an outlet. It's it over. That's poked away by Zarsi. Pioneer did a really good job in that first half with turnovers, but boy, they've really mounted up here in this second. And Stricker around 4 2. Cuts it to 16, and Coach Tyler. Once another timeout. Cavaliers with the ball here under a minute to go. And some full court pressure here by Pioneer. Ziegler in the bucket is good for Ross and a free throw opportunity coming here for Evelyn Ross. If you don't have the splitter, it's not going to work. Free throw is good. Makes it a 19 point lead here with 20 seconds to go. Keg looking for an outlet. Gets it to Ziegler. Ziegler from 10 puts it in. And a Ziegler for two. And that's going to do it. The final score. Down. There you go. Final. 50 33. Tri County gets the win. So the Cavaliers move their record to 12 and 6. Pioneer falls to 5 and 11. Pretty good effort here. We'll come back and uh, we'll get you some stats and. Uh, Maybe get a chance to talk to Coach Barry here when we get back. We'll take a break and be back with more here from Pioneer High School on Pioneer TV. Go ahead and put it back. 